I always knew I was a goal scorer. Why, I don't know. But I always knew, like, the ball will drop there and I'll be there and I'll score. At that time, I knew, like, listen, I can shoot with both feet. I can sc I score a lot of goals with the both feet with the head. I was really fast, always been powerful. So, I mean, that's when I, like, when I was, like, six or seven, I told my mom, I said, listen, um, because at the time we were struggling a lot on the financial way, you know, we were, it was really tough for us. Like, my mom didn't work, my dad, uh, his poor career was done, and we didn't have anything left. So, I mean, we struggled a, a lot, but I told my mom, I mean, the only hope that we have is football. So, I'll make sure that I'll play for Anderlecht in the first team, and it's going to happen really soon. When I came to Brussels, like, I really felt at peace because, first of all, Brussels is multicultural. So we have a lot of Congolese people. I'm from Congolese descent, so we have a lot of my people, I would say. We have a lot of Moroccans. We have a lot of Turkish, Spanish, Italian. So it's, it was good for me to, to grow up there. I would say Molenbeek, you know, is, is a diverse area, you know. It's, it's the hood. <laughs> but it's a good, it's, it's a good area to, to grow up in because it makes you tough in here. You know, Brussels makes you tough in here. Especially when you come out of Brussels, you know, a lot, there is a lot of competition because we have a lot of good players in the city. It's tough, but once you make it, I don't think a lot of stuff can really hurt you anymore. I remember the, the day like it was yesterday. Like, like, I never had breakfast when I was a kid, like, no, period. Like, I'm not used to having breakfast, so my breakfast will be at lunchtime when I was allowed to go home from school. So I came home from school and... Um, uh, 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 I saw my mom adding water to the milk. And it was the same bowl of the day before. So that's when I knew. I just knew I need to start working. I need to start working quick. I need to, and I was like six. I, that, that's really when it hits me, you know? Like when I was... My dad... My dad started playing, the career was done in 90, 99, 99. So yeah, that last year, I remember my dad was still playing, he was playing for Carvel Stender. That's when it really hit me. Like I saw my mom taking a bowl of milk that I had the day before from out the fridge. Normally when you take milk, you take milk out of, out of the box or whatever, out of, the, out of the gallon here in America. but. In Belgium, they do it like in in in, in boxes. So um, yeah, I saw my mom adding water to the milk, put it like put it in the microwave, and telling me to come eat. I didn't say anything. I just ate, but I understood that we were broke. I understood really quickly. I didn't say anything, but in my mind, I came just. I, then I came back and I told my mom, "Yeah, I'm going to play football for Anderlecht later, and you'll see." Everything is going to change. And it's not going to... When I retire, we'll, we'll be good. We'll be good. Trust me. But that's really the day that I knew it was finished. No electricity for two weeks, two, three weeks. I'm dead as serious. Like, no, no electricity, no heating. My mom used to warm up cold wa uh, warm water with, um, with like a gas thing. Like a gas thing from, 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 uh, like something like a heater. And she used to put it in fire and then put hot water on top. And then I would take a shower with a, with a, like a, with a cup and splash it on top of my head. Not having TV. Basically, like I missed all the Champions League finals. All the Champions League. That's why I watch football so much now. Because I missed all the great moments. I remember really like when I started really understanding the game. It was um, the Madrid Leverkusen final when Zidane scored the volley. The next day in school, in school, everybody talks about the volley, the volley. <coughs> Don't know what happened. Don't know what happened until we had like a computer lesson and then some guy would go on the internet and show me the goal. Me and my dad, we had to share the same pair of shoes. Can you imagine me and my dad? My dad was playing um, lower division football. So my dad, when he has to train, like, I used to come back from training, give my shoes 
My football shoes to my dad. I was like, okay, you go now. Me and my dad used to share the same, the same, the same shoes for years. <laughs> oh, when I think about it, yo, man, it's funny. But yeah, that was that was like growing up. Like it was difficult because he, 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 like I had like sometimes even my sneakers like they were broken, holes in my shoes or whatever. But he gave me such a such a drive on the inside. 